everyone now in this video i will be making the smallest possible wireless neopixel driver circuit by using generic esp8266 board so watch this video till the end and i will let you know how to make it so let's get started now those who don't know what neopixel is let me tell you in brief Neopixels, also known as addressable LEDs, have a chip inside each LED pixel, which in our case is WS2812. This LED strip works on one wire protocol, that means we can change the color or brightness of each LED individually with just single data pin connected to a microcontroller board. The benefit of this Neopixel as compared to regular strip available in the market is that we can control hundreds of LEDs by just single wire. You can buy this kind of LED strip from DF Robot. I am having a 60 LED per meter strip whose link I have attached in the description of this video. So do check that out if you want to buy it. Now this LED strip do require a microcontroller for its working. So I chose this ESP826601 Wi-Fi module because of two reasons. First, by using this I can make my project wireless and I can change the color and animation of the strip using my smartphone or laptop. Secondly, this is the smallest board I was having in my lab so I found it perfect for my NeoPixel driver, small and wireless. Other than this, I have also used a DC socket for 5V input, an AMS 1117 regulator IC to step down 5V into 3.3V and mail headers to connect the LED strip and the connections of all the components is something like this. Now to make this project more compact and well arranged I designed my own PCB on EZDA.com and gave its order to GLCPCB straight away. It's very simple to order it on GLCPCB. Just upload the Gerber file, choose the color masking and hey wait, did I tell you that now you can order PCB in any color without paying extra charges for it at just $2 for 10 PCBs. So select your favorite color and pay for your order. You will be receiving these amazing PCBs at your doorstep. So try out GLC PCB once to make your project look neat and more professional. So here is my PCB for this NeoPixel driver circuit. Now, one by one, I shouldered all the components on it except the ESP8266 module as we need to program it first. For programming, you need to have Arduino IDE on your system, then you need to install ESP8266 boards on your Arduino IDE. And for that, you need to follow this video first. After successfully installing ESP boards on your Arduino IDE, just go to Sketch, Include Library, into Manage Libraries. Now here just type WS2812FX, install it and that's it. Now go to the files, examples, into WS2812FX and then into the ESP8266 web interface. So this is the sample code with all the animations. In this code you just need to change first of all your SID name which is your routers or hotspot name and its password. Then you need to define the pin number. In my case, I'm using the GPIO2 pin of generic ESP8266. So I will write here 2. And in the end, you need to type the number of LEDs. In my case, I have 60 LEDs in this particular strip. So I will type it as 60. And that's it. This is all you need to change inside this particular code. Now we will upload this code. For uploading code on ESP8266, I have used my Arduino Mega board. The process is not so simple if you use the generic ESP8266 module. If you want to know how to upload the code onto the generic ESP8266, I will suggest you to watch this video in which I have explained the whole process and the connection in very much detail. And if you find this particular process hectic, then go for the Node MCU board and upload this code directly. Let's come back to this video. So in my case, I successfully made the connection and now I will select the right board which is generic ESP8266 and I will select the port. In my case, I'm using the Arduino Mega board to upload it. So I will select this Arduino Mega in the port section and just click on the upload button. 
Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded now. Let's observe the serial monitor. So it got connected to the router and here is the local IP address on which we can change the color and animation of the strip. Let us copy and paste it on our browser. Okay, so as you can see, we got a web page on which we have different kind of animations and color options available. Great, so we are done with everything regarding this project. Now let's just solder this ESP on the PCB and see this project in action. hope you like this video if yes then do show your love by giving it a like subscribe my channel if you want to see more such awesome project tutorials other than project i also used to upload some getting started videos on electronic products i also make some explained videos regarding any sensor or technology and i even make some short but useful videos so just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me tech sms